Hi, this is Nick George with Class Diamond Sharpening just to show you a video on why does tension matter on a clipper blade. Um, we're going to go through uh, what it does and why it matters and if you get one that's over um, I would say four pounds, five pounds at the most, you're damaging your clipper. And we're going to go through and we're going to tell you how to fix it and if you should even fix it because Depending on the sharpener, you depending on how they sharpened, if they hollow it out too much, it's going to need to have a lot of tension, and that's always bad. Um, it damages your clipper, and it damages your clipper blade, and it causes a lot of heat, and it could harm the animal. But let's go down to the table so we can get a better look at this blade that I got in my hand here. Okay, so this is just the Andis number 10. Uh, this, I ground it off so I can make sure uh, I don't give it to somebody by mistake or um, switch one of their blades with it. So I keep it separated that way. So this is a black ceramic cutter I found just in my junk pile. I don't think it's Andis. It's uh, just some black ceramic cutter. The difference between ceramic and metal, ceramic is a lot harder, but that doesn't mean it doesn't break easier, okay? Now it's not going to get hot as bad, but it will break easier. It's more brittle uh, than metal. So if you don't like using oil, please don't use ceramic. It's You're going to send it in and it, all the teeth are going to be broken and if they're broken sometimes I can fix them depending on where they're broke at and how the, what way they're broke at because I don't want it to pull hair so if there's any cause of pulling hair then I will have to replace it um, but like I said if you got one little nick tooth like usually I can fix it and you know make all the other teeth flat with that f tooth but the importance of tension okay so this blade maybe has two pounds of pressure. I go from one to three pounds in general. I like to set it at uh, four or five. I mean, it might be okay, but um, you know, you're, you're getting at the point where there's, it's pushing down so hard it's gonna cause a lot of heat. And I've seen it go up to 10 pounds and just totally destroy clippers. You could just see them falling apart as it's going. Uh, and, you know, when you don't oil, it causes pounds of resistance because it's harder to move left to right. So even unoiled blades adds more tension. It doesn't literally add more tension, but it adds more tension on the clipper moving the cutter blade, if that makes any sense. So this blade has been sharpened, I don't know, about a few years ago. I run it and test it on every clipper I repair, and as you can see, there's no groove in it or anything, and that's because it's always oiled. Like, you can see it's shiny. It's just oiled, like, all the time. Um, so now, if you get a blade back and it has too much tension, okay. Now, if it's cutting good, um, and there's too much tension and uh, another sharpener did it well Like see how much it is and if it's over five pounds, then you might not want to use the blade You can loosen the tension. I'm gonna tell you this But if you loosen it too far the blade won't cut and depending on the sharpener So now me my sharpening is dialed in perfectly So I have a minimal of one to two pounds of pressure I sometimes get three if, if, you know, there's just a problem. Maybe they didn't use oil or something and their blade's just like rough and I just got to take it down and, you know, maybe get three pounds, maybe. But what I'm saying is, is like once you get over three or, or four or five pounds of pressure, you're damaging the clipper. Um, and... You know, I, I may have missed one in my life, but I try to always check all tensions. Um, and I always check my work twice, not 
because I don't trust my work. Usually I'm 90% ac 99% accurate. Like out of 100 blades, I'll have to resharpen one that I test. And that's a maybe. But what I'm saying is, is I check it for the quality. So if it just cuts this string beautifully, then I'm happy. And if it cuts that string beautifully, oh, 100%, it's going to cut that hair even better. So that's why I check every blade just to reassure and I don't want to have redos and people sending stuff back saying it doesn't work because it wastes your time and it wastes my time and we're both sad then and I don't like being sad I don't know about you but I try to be happy as much as I can so let's just get these blades working okay so to loosen the tension you just slide the cutter out take a flathead screwdriver and pry up a little but don't do this I mean I recommend not doing this I'm just telling you this because you need to probably find a new sharpener if you can't get it under four to five pounds of pressure if you can't get it under there I recommend finding someone new now what happens if you loosen too much and go under a pound or under the pressure of his hollow point then the blade won't cut so what I'm saying is is if it's cutting you might just want to keep going with it and just find a new sharpener um, but that is how you loosen it so thank you for this wonderful adventure um, uh, tension is important for the heat and everything so just keep the, the temp temperature low and Keep them sharp and keep your clipper serviced every once in a while. You got to clean that carbon out of that motor. Or, you know, this clipper's been going forever. So. But anyway, thank you for this wonderful adventure. Um, check your tensions. If your tensions are too high, please send them in to a sharpener to get them sharpened correctly. Uh, I don't recommend messing with your tension because then you might have a blade that doesn't work at all. Uh, or you could maybe the sharpener just don't know anything about tension and you loosen that tension up and it just works beautifully like it should at one to two pounds of pressure three at the most four or five we're getting we're getting dicey six I mean we're, we're destroying clippers so um, and the check the weight or the tension just take a scale and push it and then you can see how much pounds it goes up to. Here's the scale. Slide your blade out, push it down, and it will tell the temperature. We'll do it on my scale real fast. Here we go, my battery's about to die. Slide the blade out like that, and then you put it on here. 1.1 pounds of pressure. Two pounds, well it got stuck, hold on. Here we go. Two pounds. So that's perfect. One. Here it's sliding. See? So about two pounds. That's perfect. So thank you for this wonderful adventure. Keep your tensions loose and see you later. Please subscribe and support my channel. Thank you. Any comments are welcome.